alert remains in effect for all across the borderland. Rain chances remain very high for the remainder of the day today into tonight and for our Monday as well. The possibility of flash flooding exists for many locations. If you get caught under one of those big thunderstorms, chances are you're going to see a lot of rain, but not everybody is going to see the rain. Here's a look at that seven day rain cast. You can see from Monday just a 40% chance. So it actually goes down a little bit, but back up Tuesday to 60%, Wednesday 50%, and then the rest of the week those rain chances dwindle just to just around 10% for the weekend next weekend. So those rain chances are going to be going away, but still a lot of wet weather to get through. Here's the future track rainfall. This is what it has through Wednesday. You can see around a quarter of an inch, but certainly could be more or less depending on whether or not you get underneath one of those individual monsoon thunderstorms in El Paso and Las Cruces. It's going to be unsettled these next couple of days. Now we have seen some decent rainfall so far this month, nearly double the average of two inches with over four inches of rain having to fall in. This is our eighth wettest August on record so far. Year to date though, we're still below average by nearly an inch of rain. Now if you do get those weather pictures or videos, send them to us on our Facebook page or email them to us. You can also use the interactive radar on our website, kvia.com. Click on the weather tab and then the interactive radar and you can know right where those storms are when it is storming in your area. 67 in Socorro and Clint tonight, 50% chance of rain. And then for tomorrow, those rain chances decrease to around 40%, 85 in Fort Bliss, 84 in Montana Vista, and 86 in Fabens for a high during the day tomorrow. Now in Las Cruces tonight, 62 degrees, winds very light, just 5 to 10 miles an hour. Tomorrow, 84, and again, a 40% chance of rain. Those rain chances decreasing ever so slightly, won't be quite as widespread during the day tomorrow as what we're seeing today. In El Paso, 66 tonight and 86 for the day tomorrow. Again, a 40% chance of rain for you as well. And here's a look at that seven day forecast. Those rain chances staying high through Wednesday. Temperatures in the lower 80s. The average high this time of year, 92 degrees. So we're going to be about 10 degrees below average for this time of year. And then as we head through the remainder of the week, we begin to dry out. Temperatures warm back up into the lower 90s for Saturday and Sunday, right around average for this time of year. So things are going to begin to heat up. But again, that first alert remains in effect. Flash flooding possible through at least Tuesday this week, even into Wednesday. Those rain chances remaining high. So continue to stay with us. We'll have the very latest on those rain chances and where the storms are at the present time.